Hello and welcome back. I got a request that I wanted to video real quickly for somebody. Um, and that is regarding bringing a fill and um, around a, a, whether it's a design that's in the machine or something you import on a USB, it's immaterial. It's all the same, you do it exactly the same way. So let's just grab, grab this one right here. I'm gonna say set. Okay, so I'm gonna go to edit. I'm gonna grab my flower. Now, depending on where I want that fill to be placed around this design, I can increase that separation between the fill that will be placed and that design. It's entirely up to how you wanna do that, but you need to do that in this section right here. You can't change that in IQ. So now that I, I did that, which I just, I'll show you that again, I went to the flower, um, I increased that line away from my design and then I hit memory. So that is now, when you see that, when I hit memory, it's gonna say recall from IQ designer stamp pattern list. So in IQ, we're going to go to our shapes key. So let's do that. So what I wanna do, obviously, because I've got this design here, I want to add a fill around a design that's either imported or that came from the machine. So I'm gonna say add, I'm gonna to go to IQ. I'm grabbing my shapes key again. I'm gonna to go to my flower and I've got that design already in there. And I'm gonna say, okay. So now what I can do is I can drop a fill anywhere around this design. I can choose a frame size to keep that within a designated area or I can just drop it completely around. So what I'm gonna do is go to my fill properties. I'm gonna select a fill. And obviously it doesn't matter which one it is, but we'll make one that maybe you can see better. I'm gonna say, okay. I'll grab a color that's easy to see, say okay. In order to place that fill entirely around that design, I'm gonna grab my paint bucket. And all I need to do is tap around the outside of that design. If I were to tap inside the design, it would obviously fill around the entire thing. This is your reverse or your delete button. And once you start working in IQ, you will get to know that button quite, quite, quite well. So now you've got a fill completely surrounding your design. I'm gonna say next. This is where I can actually affect my design or my fill or other, you know, if you've got more than one, um, if I had placed a line property around that, then I would, I could scroll between different lines in there. And that is, that's my puppy making those funny noises. So I can shrink or enlarge my fill. I can change the direction in that um, so that I can change the way in which it's facing or I can go into this and create that and place an outline. So I'm gonna say cancel, I'm gonna preview because I'm not changing anything, I'm gonna say okay. So now that's a preview of what it will look like and I'll say set. So that imported that fill right around my design, okay? So it's as easy as that. Let's do it one last time. I'm gonna to go to embroidery. I will grab a design. We can grab a different one this time. Let's grab this one. I'm gonna set, I'm gonna say edit, grab that flower, memory. I'm not going to change the, the line, how where the line sits around that this time. I'm gonna to go to add, go to IQ, grab my and while I'm moving quickly, you can always pause this and then work along with me. There's my design right there in the shapes key under the flower. So you've got the exact same icon that you have. Okay, so now I've got my line around the exact design. Now what I can do, since I didn't show you this before, is I'm gonna grab a frame. Let's say I want to place that in an eight by eight frame. I'm gonna say, okay. I've got that now assigned to my fill or to my background. So when I select my fill, and go in, grab my fills, grab the roses because I think they're pretty. And let's do a blue because I love blue. And then I'm gonna grab my um, paint bucket and place that right inside that frame. And it's exactly where I want it. It is not going to stitch over my design and it's within that eight by eight frame area. Now, if I want to, I can, which I do oftentimes, shrink my fill down, 
I can do that. And then in the, in the Altera, you need to go to your preview button so that you can see exactly what that looks like. Solaris users, you guys can see that in the previous screen. Okay, so now we're gonna say set, okay, and you've got your filler and your design. So it's, it's easy, but it does take showing you, it takes practice, um, and you will love using this feature because it is so much easier than going in and drawing no-sew lines or trying to fit, you know, fit your fill it's just a very simple way to apply a fill around your either imported or designs that are actually in your machine. Okay, so hopefully that helps. I hope that you guys are um, able to see how quickly that can be done. And I know you will enjoy that feature. It's a whole lot of fun. Okay, have a wonderful day and I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye.